Carol here with another Iron Right tutorial. This is my Iron Right, it's a 1948 vintage Iron Right ironing machine, and I love it. Um, fall in love with my baby really quickly. The one thing that I did since last uh, filming is I replaced the electric cord. And I didn't have any problem with the original uh, electric cord, which was the original, it's covered in cloth. It was more of a safety concern because I do use my machine quite a bit. Um, I upgraded to a three prong with a ground wire, something that the originals did not come with. So if you own one of the older machines, you might wanna consider doing that yourself or having it done, it's really simple. Um, and my baby's working just fine. So. I'm going to, I've got this silk blouse, and there's nothing like the feel of natural fabrics on the skin, but you know, they, they tend to wrinkle. You know, we have a lot of wash and wear, but you can't replace things like silks and linens and cottons against the skin. And uh, so those items are gonna have to be ironed. I've got my heat setting. I have it set slightly below the silk setting. Um, as I've mentioned before in other videos, the machine tends to run a little warmer than I think for this particular setting. So on silk, I can tend to scorch my items a little bit. This here is nothing more than a, a cloth table uh, napkin. And the reason I'm running this through first is to check the temperature of the machine, kind of get a feel for what how hot it is before I run my really nice blouse through. I do not want to um, run it through and damage it. So temperature felt good, it's nice and warm. Silks can handle a pretty good amount of heat, a lot more than some other delicate fabrics. So, go ahead and get it in there, and I run it through fairly quickly. And I use my knee stop over here just to make sure that as it's going through, and I let that fall all the way through. I know some things I stop and bring it back through, but as you can see on the very first pass through, how quick was that? I have to do a little fine tuning here where I did not pull the fabric taut enough to make sure that the pass through got those couple of wrinkles out. So we'll run it back through just on that side there. And voila, we are ready to step out in a freshly pressed blouse. You hang these right up and no more ironing has to be done. So you can see how quick that was as opposed to standing over an ironing board and back and forth and making sure that you get all the um, corner edges. Thank you again for watching. I'll be back with another tutorial. Hopefully next time I'll plan to do some table linens, a large piece so you can see the beauty of how this baby really works.